The official name of the UK is the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and it is made up of England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. The capital of the UK is London. Great Britain is formed of England, Scotland and Wales. The Union flag, often referred to as the Union Jack, symbolises the union of the countries of the UK. It is made up from parts of the national flags of England, Scotland and Northern Ireland. There are no national days for the whole of the UK or Great Britain, but each of the four countries within the UK have their own. England, St George's Day, 23rd of April. Wales, St David's Day, 1st of March. Northern Ireland, St Patrick's Day, 17th of March. Scotland, St Andrew's Day, 30th of November. Bank holidays, usually on Mondays, are public holidays in the United Kingdom when many businesses are closed for the day. Some public holidays are the same across the whole of the UK, but others are specific to individual countries. In the UK, the head of state is the monarch, a king or queen. The British monarchy is known as a constitutional monarchy. Although the monarch no longer has a political or executive role, he or she continues to play an important part in the life of the nation. The monarch or sovereign acts as a focus for national identity unity and pride, gives a sense of stability and continuity, officially recognises success and excellence and supports the ideal of voluntary service. Her Majesty the Queen, Elizabeth II, has ruled for longer than any other monarch in British history and has been an important figurehead for the UK and the Commonwealth during times of enormous social change. The monarch gives final approval to all laws, opens Parliament every year and appoints the Prime Minister after an election. The UK has a constitutional monarchy represented by a Prime Minister and governmental cabinet. The cabinet members are appointed by the Prime Minister to be Ministers of State in charge of various departments of government, for example, Home Office, Foreign and Commonwealth Office, Defence, Education, Health and Treasury. The legislative power is formed by Parliament, which consists of an elected House of Commons and an appointed House of Lords. The British Constitution is an unwritten one. You can visit the Houses of Parliament to watch debates and committees. For more information, please visit the following website. It is also broadcast on television and online on the BBC Parliament Channel. The Houses of Commons consists of Members of Parliament, MPs, democratically elected by the public. Each Parliament can last a maximum of five years before another election must take place. The election for Parliament is called a general election to differentiate it from elections which take place to other bodies, such as local elections or European elections. The UK is divided into 650 areas called constituencies, and each constituency is represented by one MP. MPs will generally only act on behalf of people who live in their own constituency. MPs represent all the people in their local area, whether they vote for them or not. To find your local MP, visit this website and enter your postcode. You can contact your MP if you feel you have been treated unfairly by a government office or agency, to let your MP know about a problem affecting people in your local area, or to ask your MP to support a particular campaign that you feel strongly about. Some issues are not the direct responsibility of Parliament or Government. In these instances, you should first contact your local councillor. Councillors are members of the public who are elected to represent the views and concerns of local people. A councillor will typically serve for a four-year term. Some will have specific areas of additional responsibility, such as committee or cabinet roles. Visit this website to find contact details of your local councillor. General elections are held every five years, although it can be more frequent. It is the formal process of voting to choose a new government. Most candidates belong to a political party, but some may stand as independent candidates. To vote in a general election, you must be over the age of 18, on the electoral register, which is the list of names and addresses of everyone who's registered to vote, be a British or Irish citizen or a citizen of certain Commonwealth countries. European Economic Area citizens can vote in local and European elections. You need to register to be eligible to vote. In Peterborough, visit the following website. In Fenland, visit the following website. Each year, your local council is required to update the electoral register.
they will send a form to each household for you to confirm who is living there and who is eligible to vote. It is a legal requirement that you complete this form and return it. Some councils have systems which allow you to text or use the internet to update your details. The form will give you specific instructions on the options you can use. In the UK, the voting system for general elections is called First Past the Post. Each of the UK's 650 constituencies elects their Member of Parliament, MP, to represent them in Parliament. Should you wish to raise an issue with your MP, you can write to them either at their constituency office or at the Houses of Parliament. Most also hold local surgeries to talk to constituents. Details will be on their web pages. If you are eligible to vote, you will receive a polling card prior to any election. The card will inform you where you need to go to cast your vote. This place is called a polling station and is likely to be at a local community centre or school.